so I'll say message is equal to empty and I'll just copy this uh, message text over here we already have it here so message is equal to data message that's fine uh, tags get tags so this is fine to do this so I will we can check if there are any tags there as well no, no harm in that and then um, actually we don't need this tags thing at all yeah because we don't yeah maybe we might need it i'll leave it there for now so tags there we may want to add that to our database so let's go to our local database here and make sure we are inside messages as you can see tags isn't here so let me look at posts and see what data type the post table what data type uh, tags is and it's a variable character at 2048 that's the size so let's do a similar thing i'll go to the structure i will add one item and oh, tags just so we don't get an error 2048 save that's all we need there and browse okay there we go so we are set to go we are back here so tags is most welcome now if there are no errors post id now we don't have post id here instead we have message id msg id so let me edit wherever this is post id post id post id post id okay ms msg id like so definitely this one will be message here so just change that as well message before we even go further so we have passed here now create message id now we need we're going to need this function right here we don't have it here yet but we will create it soon now the parent we don't actually need a parent here because we are not using the post comment system so i will remove that we we'll definitely need the database so leave that be if is set parent and parent so since we are not using the parent system i will just delete this whole thing here okay there we go so we down to the query now notify these people that they were tagged oh i see what's going on here so this is going to cause more issues so what i will do for now is i will disable the tags thing here we will fix that later please type something to post or to send something like that okay that's a better error all right so let's look at the uh things in here so user id do we have a user id here now instead of user id we, we have the sender so that's the person that actually sent the message so let's change that to sender of course we need message id and we will need a receiver as well uh -huh. we will need the message of course we will need the file which is image in this case but let me come back here uh, this one is file we obviously don't need has image or is profile image or is cover image maybe we need tags like that okay so the rest of these have default values like received seen deleted we added those and we did add a default date now the thing about adding a default date here is you should keep in mind is here we added current timestamp we told it whenever a new record is set we will indicate the current timestamp now you have to be careful when using this because in certain situations you don't want this 
you want to actually create the date yourself so you don't you don't give it a default value and that's because if for some reason i edit this row whatever row is in here the current timestamp will be updated so let's imagine for a second you have your users table here and let's go to structure so in here uh surprise surprise okay there's a date time there okay so as you can see in this one i did not put the default value here as current timestamp and that's because uh users will be editing their name and last name and emails and so on and every time they edit that the date will be updated to the last time they edited the row now that's not good when you're trying to know when the user signed up because every time they edit something that date will be updated and it will not reflect the date they actually signed up so th those are the uh, times when you don't need to set that to a default now in messages for example we will never edit messages messages are not up for editing so current timestamp is fine all right so now that we have that out of the way let's continue so as you can see none of these things are critical they have default values here so we may actually uh, put a default value for tags but i think for now this is fine because uh, anytime they could it, it's possible we could have a tag to send so i will copy this and i will paste it here this way i do not uh i do not miss the order of things okay there we go okay very good so let me click here there 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 ah, wrong place there like that so i'll start with a semi uh, inverted comma dollar sign control right arrow key and put the last uh, one like that okay so now all we need is to create these variables here and then we are golden so let's begin with uh, tags is obviously already there what do we need so let me copy these here and let me put them there like so so we can use them as reference i'll do this like that okay put uh, some dollar signs there equal sign Oop. not cool okay so sender who is sending this now the sender is the one that's uh, the person that's actually currently active so how do we find that <clears throat> excuse me we have that in our um, in our session right but i don't want to miss this so i'll go to my post.php class and just copy it from there from anywhere among these guys so there we go i'll put it there global variable and then the message id we will generate this of course so we have it already here so no need to put it there and then the receiver we will need the receiver now if you look closely we have the receiver over there so we just have to count from the messages we know that messages is a page and so it's number zero so zero one two so number two so that is inside the url uh, global that we've created and number two like so okay so that's the zero one two great now always do the add slashes here if i remember correctly let me go back here before i do the add slashes if i go to functions.php let me see if i did create a uh, if i did create something that is useful here oh so i did so there's function escape here it's better to use a function because later on i can decide to escape values in a different way 
uh, if I had created a function like this and not used add slashes direct directly, sorry, it means I can come in here and change how I escape values and immediately the entire website will have changed how it does the escaping. But if I had added this directly to variables everywhere in my system, then it becomes a pain to change how I escape values later on. Okay, so let's use escape, of course. So I will come back here and undo that and use escape like that. Control right arrow key to go to the very end of this. And I can put a bracket, but of course it went to the wrong place here. Should be like this. I don't actually need that. So there we go. Okay, so escaped value. And then here we want an escaped value for the message, which we've already done there now. So you can also change this as well. As you can see, I've used add slashes, but let's be future proof and use escape. Okay, so goody goody there. No need for messages no more. And then file, if it has image here, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's see what's happening. So my image is the image here, that's the variable that has the image. Where is it, where is it, my image, okay, good. So has image is equal to one. So if has image, then we will set it to something. So what I could do though, to avoid uh, this has image is equal to one. Oh, actually I did already do this. My image is right at the top there. So which means it will always be set. So I don't actually need to set a file here, but you can still do it for readability and say my image like so. Or you could simply put the my image directly into the query there. That'll be fine. So also here, let's escape it just in case. Okay, so there we go. And then tags, we already have tags. So out of here. Okay. So goody, goody, goody. So far things are looking good. File, receiver, message, file, tags. Okay, pretty good. Now we need to create the function that creates the message ID. 